An Australian art photographer's exhibit that was once displayed 95 feet deep on a sunken ship in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary has now premiered onshore in Key West. Channel 19's Crystal Banner has the full story. The opening of Andre Frank's Sinking World exhibit was January 17th at the studios of Key West. It will continue through till February 15th. The exhibit features digitally composited images of the General Hoyt S. Vanderberg, a former Air Force missile tracking ship scuttled in May 2009 to become an artificial reef off Key West. Artificial reef experts say it is the second largest ship in the world ever to be purposely sunk to become a marine habitat. Frank photographed the wreck and digitally added elements, creating haunting images such as a workman perched on a crossbeam to eat his lunch, and a young girl wielding a butterfly net to capture fish. The four by five foot photographs then were sandwiched in plexiglass and displayed on the Vanderberg's weather deck beneath the ocean surface for almost five months. Barnacles, algae, and other marine organisms grew on them, and slight water leaks altered the images to create the work being exhibited on land. Frank says that his art looks quite similar above the water as well as underwater, but over time, when the sea life starts growing, it changed dramatically. Frank tells us how the sea life affected his art. I believe that sea life enhanced my art, and it gave it a third dimension to the to this surface, and the water dripped in a little bit, and we have a wonderful frame all around. I'm Crystal Banner, WEYW Channel 19. For more information on the exhibit, you can check out the website that you see on the bottom of the screen. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you can join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.